In this video, we'll cover the reigns of three kings, all three of them sons of King Ethelwulf, who reigned from 839 to 856, and who we covered in our previous video. These are Kings Ethelbald, Ethelbert, and Ethelred. All three were older brothers to their more famous younger sibling, King Alfred the Great. Ethelbald was born in 834. He had an older brother, Ethelstan, who served as King of Kent, while his father ruled as King of Wessex. When Ethelstan died in 852, Ethelbald became the eldest son and heir when he was 18 years of age. He ruled as King of Wessex for around five years, from 855 to 860. His successor was his younger brother, Ethelbert. We don't know when Ethelbert was born, but he ruled as King of Wessex for five years, from 860 to 865. Finally, Ethelred was born somewhere around the mid to late 840s, and ruled as King of Wessex from 865 to 871. For context, they reigned roughly 650 years before Henry VIII, and around 200 years before William the Conqueror and the Normans. For a summary of events leading up to their emergence, and for context, we recommend you watch the previous video. Ethelbald was the second son of King Ethelwulf of Wessex. We don't know what happened to his older brother, but it's thought he died in the early 850s, after defeating the Vikings in battle. In 855, King Ethelwulf decided to make a pilgrimage to Rome, and left Ethelbald in charge of Wessex, and his younger son Ethelbert in charge of Kent. On his return a year later, the impertinent son, Ethelbald, refused to give up the throne. His poor father was reduced to effectively retiring as King of Kent and some smaller eastern provinces. On his way home, Ethelwulf had married Judith, the 13-year-old daughter of the Frankish king Charles the Bald. It's thought as a way of associating his kingdom with that of the Carolingian dynasty established by the mighty Emperor Charlemagne. After Ethelwulf's death in 858, Ethelbald took Judith, yes, his stepmother, as his wife. The marriage was later condemned as an affront to Christian dignity. Ethelbald died in 860 at Sherborne, just two years after his father, and after just a few years on the throne. As he died childless, Ethelbald was succeeded by his younger brother, Ethelbert, who, as sub-king of Kent, was able to unite Kent and Wessex. It's possible Ethelbert's younger brothers, Ethelred and Alfred, later the Great, were intended for the throne, but both were still young boys at the time. Given their kingdoms were being threatened by the Vikings, it's thought it was safer to crown Ethelbert instead. Ethelbert ruled from 860 until his death in 865, and he's described as a good king who ruled with peace, love, honour and harmony. Like his older brother, it's thought that he died childless and the throne was inherited by his brother, Ethelred. Ethelred, not to be confused with Ethelred the Unready, who came much later, did have sons, but given that they were infants when he died, the crown passed to his younger brother, Alfred. 865 was a significant year in England's history, because that's when the great heathen army, the Vikings, landed in England. In previous decades, Vikings had launched raids on towns and villages, but in 851 they stepped up their campaign by sailing 350 ships up the Thames and subduing London and Canterbury. On that occasion, they were stopped by King Ethelwulf, who defeated them at the Battle of Aclea in Surrey. Over the next five years, they conquered Northumbria and East Anglia, and eventually established Danelaw, a Viking kingdom that would last around 90 years that controlled parts of the north and east. Ethelred and his brother Alfred faced numerous Viking attacks, losing a battle at Reading in January 871, but beating them a few days later at the Battle of Ashdown, where the Vikings suffered heavy losses, though this victory was short-lived and was followed by a defeat two weeks later at the Battle of Basing. Ethelred died in around April 871, possibly of battle wounds. He was succeeded by his brother Alfred. We'll cover Alfred, who's known as Alfred the Great, for preventing the Danes from conquering all of England and promoting learning across his kingdom, in our next video. Please remember to hit the subscribe button below to receive an alert when we upload our next video. You can also support us via Patreon using the link below.